All right, we're going to be taking a look at the HTC Evil 4G, um, and we're going to be rooting it with Unrevoked 3.3.1. Um, go ahead and look at the software real quick so we can tell that it's on the right here when it focuses. You can see it's 3.7.65.1. Okay, so what we're going to first do is we're going to power off our phones. Okay. I see the phone there right there. Yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right, while this is powering off, I want to tell you guys that, um, before you begin this process, uh, a lot of people forget, um, if you've installed HTC Sync on your computer, uninstall it. If you have Double Twist on your computer, uninstall it um, just for the duration of the root process. Also, disable your antivirus and, um, and uh, have no programs running on your computer while you're rooting your phone. So, okay, we're going to... Let me disable my antivirus. Okay. We're going to turn the phone back on by holding volume down and the power button. Okay. Now it's going to scan for a second, or it should. Uh, don't push anything because your button, it's not going to mean anything. Zoom in or come closer. Okay, we're going to push down four times to H-Boot USB. Okay, once it says H-Boot USB on the top, we're going to go and plug our phone into the USB jack. Okay, now when it says USB plug, you can see it at the top. Okay, we're going to see if we can select that. Okay. Okay, never mind. It's already on USB plug, so let me. Once it says USB plug, which I messed up, but once it says USB plug like that, show the top. Okay, you're gonna go onto your. You're gonna go to control panel. Show up there. Show up there. Okay. Go to control panel. Device manager. Okay. And right here where it says Android phone, you click down, and it's going to say Android bootloader interface. Okay. What you're going to want to, uh, and I think my drivers are already installed, but um, we'll just see. You're going to right-click, update driver software, and it's going to say search automatically or browse. You want to browse your computer. Okay. You're going to browse to wherever you have the unrevoked drivers at and click on the USB drivers, press OK, and press Next, okay? Now, mine says the best driver software for your device is already installed, but, um, you know, this is what you guys are going to have to do for whoever doesn't have the drivers installed. You're going to have to push Browse My Computer and Browse for the drivers. So we already have the drivers installed, so we don't need to do anything else, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to power the phone back off, uh, Go to fast boot, okay, um, and we're going to actually we're going to reboot. Excuse me. So we're going to reboot. You can reboot reboot the phone. So so just make sure you guys install the drivers uh, from the unrevoked program. Um, Once your phone's powered back on, we're going to start the unrevoked process. Pull it up a little bit. Yeah, where you get the whole phone. There you go. It don't take long after this. Once it powers on. Once you do this, man, you'll be able to do anything. Okay, our phone's back on. It's loading. Alright, 
we're going to go and we're going to um, go to the reflash package that you downloaded from Unrevolt and and uh, pull that and double click it. Okay. Run. Hold that for a bit. Just keep the screen. Takes a sec. Take it. Takes a second to load. Okay. Now it says it's about to start. Please make sure and understand all the risks. Okay. So you know. Okay. You really don't have to do anything on Unrevoke 3.3.1 like you did ha have to on 3.2.1. Uh, it's basically um, just make sure your phone is in debugging, and obviously mine's already in debugging because the root process has already started. But uh, but um, basically all you have to do is just sit there and wait for it to work. I mean, and it's going to tell you if you have to do anything at the bottom right there. It says installing and unrevoke uh, three service recovery image clockwork recovery or clockwork mod recovery and it's going to show you everything that you need to do so it's running it's running root right now it says unrevoke uh successful uh so now it's rebooting and it's going to go through its little process so and this doesn't erase uh that I know of um, I've done it once but um I actually had to unroot to root, so I don't know if it um, erases anything on the phone, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Un Unrevoke 3.2.1 did not erase anything. So the phone, as you can see right here, just rebooted. So it's waiting. Yeah, it takes a long time for it to reboot, you know. All right, we've, uh, that's the first. Okay, now it's, it's loading, and this is running root, if you can see at the bottom, running root. So, at, it says this this was a triumph, un, uninstalling, unrevoke three serves. So now it's uninstalling whatever it put on your, on your phone. And uh, do not... Um, do anything to your phone or touch anything to your phone. I know I just swiped down on there to unlock it, and I probably shouldn't have, but do not do anything to your phone while you are rooting. Just leave it alone, and it will do everything by itself. And, and do not touch anything until it says um, done at the bottom where you see me showing you the words. Do not touch anything until it says done. Not when it says this is a triumph. Not when it says anything. Successful. Done. That's what you're looking for before you touch anything on your phone. So it's still working. All right, now it's re rebooting again. It's, takes forever. Okay, waiting for reboot.
recovery real quick and it'll be done. So I'm like, like maybe 12 minutes. All right, now it says uh, down here rebooting into recovery. Okay, and here you're also not going to touch anything, so your phone's going to be rebooting into recovery right here. See, there's your recovery. Don't do anything right here on the bottom. Done. See that? Okay, so it says done. Now you're able to reboot your system um, right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and reboot that. At the top, you see reboot, you hit power. It should reboot and be rooted. So, see at the bottom it's done, so you can pretty much X that off. All we're going to do is uh, wait for it to reboot and make sure that the super user icon is in there. And if the super user icon is in there, then we know we've attained root. Oh, and uh, just a thought, this is a new Evo, so with the new hardware and uh, the new software. So this will root the new Evos as well as the Evos that have updated to the 3.70.651.5 or point one uh, software. It will root both of them. Okay, we're going to look in our apps now and make sure we have the super user icon down there. And as you can see, we have the super user icon right there, our super user permissions icon. So we've attained root. So thank you. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm out.